All right, guys, we just drove out fishing because the Alberta government just announced yesterday that parks and parking lots open again today. That means we get to go fishing in the spots we want to. Except I just drove out to the spot. Apparently, they aren't in a rush to do it. I waited and made sure that I came out late. It's 10 o'clock, just after 10 o'clock, 10.30, and the gate's still locked. And I still can't get in. So like now I'm faced with the challenge. Like, what do I do? What do I do? I drove all the way out here. All right, I think I have a plan, but I gotta call Alberta Parks first. Hopefully I can find somewhere to Alberta park my truck. I just called and it doesn't look like the gate's gonna be open today. They don't know when the gate's gonna be open. With all the cutbacks and staff and everything going on, they're telling me that probably May 8th, which is when everything else opened. So we're starting our hike in. We left the truck behind back there. We're in the most cougar populated area in North America. Let's not get eaten. So as you can see, we got like uh, 15 feet of open water here. That's about two feet deep, maybe a foot. Um, but some of my ice holes from this winter are actually open. So I'm gonna fish them. Hopefully not fall through, we'll see what happens. I don't know if I'm gonna go on the ice. As I began to move around the lake, the sad realities of the harsh winter had set in. A few beautiful fish had passed and washed up ashore. I continued my travels through the woods into the creek below, hoping to find some fish. Unfortunately, there is nothing but beautiful sights, which I'm okay with. This ant took a tumble, and I kept moving. Well, I've stopped and fished a few tiny holes along the way, like this one, and I haven't seen a fish. A few minutes swimming around, but uh, I'm not even sure I can get around the lake around that side to over there, but I'm going to try. I don't know. I don't want to go back and around, so let's do it. So I'm not necessarily known to be a genius. But be careful when you're walking in that stuff, all of a sudden you'll just be <laughs> waist deep in water. Great. Well, I've made it to the very back, guys. I'm walking through almost knee deep snow. And the lake's completely frozen. <laughs> That's just the way it goes. Once I reached the back of the lake, fishing desperation started to set in. I began to pitch into some tiny little pockets of water about two or three feet deep around a patch of reeds. I quickly gave up and started walking through the fields of crocuses, only to come across my first snake of the year. Shortly followed by this guy, quite photogenic. Alright guys, I think I found the perfect trolling lane in this crack here. Let's get it. Yet another absolutely ridiculous idea. Is A for effort a thing in fishing? I don't know. But I don't think I really care either. I just seen a bunch of bait fish swimming around. Looks like a little minnow. Well guys, even though the gate was locked, we still made the most of it. We got out to fish, but there wasn't very much water to fish. 
we had fun anyways. We checked out the creek below the lake. We walked around the entire lake, which I haven't done before. And we checked to see if there was any winter kill. Unfortunately, we lost a few beauty fish, but I mean, there's still a super healthy population in the lake. Anyways, guys, we're gonna hike out of here. We gotta go get some gear in preparation for sturgeon season. We're gonna go meet up with the homie Corbin. So I'm gonna hike out of here and we'll talk to you guys next time. Peace. I was walking up the hill. I guess I should stop walking and film this. Seen some garbage. Full pack of Berkeley Atomic Teasers. These things slay. Stoked. Get up, rack it up, I got a bit of the